Kano. 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 Oh. Kano. Congratulations, oh. Hello. Hi. Hungry. Hungry? Yes. Why you go in the Philippines? And met the woman that I've been dating online. Um, she said she had to go to the bathroom. She said, I'll be back. I'll see her. Tanay, I'm going to give you a little bit of help. But I hope this is the last time we're going to get rid of it. Really? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Men, may ano? Kano. Kano. Oh, kano. Para tulad siya nito. Ano na kasulat? Hungry. Hi, sir. Hello. Hi. Hungry. Hungry? Yes. Okay, uh, men, hungry daw eh. Pakainin natin, total hindi pa naman tayo kumakain, di ba? You want to eat? Yes. You know how to speak Tagalog? Konti lang. Ah, konti lang. Uh, you want to eat together? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, you join. Okay. Only you? I don't know where she went. Are you right? Where, where? Ayan, sige. Ayan, mga kababayan, may ano. May kuya kano tayo na daanan dito. May placard na hungry daw. So, hindi pa kumakain ang team. Kaya isama natin sila. Pakainin. That's your right. Teka. Sabay natin. Sige, ma'am. Asawa niyo po. Uh, sige, sige. Hindi pa raw kumakain eh. Okay, sige. Okay. Sige, kausapin mo dyan, Mon. Ikaw nandyan, eh. Why? Why are you here? What happened? What's your name? James. James. James? Yeah. How about your wife? What's your name? Ano, yeah. Paano mo, Te? Para mo siya, Te, mag-Tagalog? Konti. Ah, konti. Pero nakakaintindi siya. Konti din. Konti din. Nagtatawang kasi yan. Ah, okay. Ito yung mga charity vlogger kami. Si Daddy Prof yung kasama natin. Opo. Ay, kumusta po? Kumusta kayo? Hello. Oh. What, what, what do you say? Vlogger. Vlogger. Oh, you do videos. Ay, yes po. Okay. It's okay? It's okay? We take a video? Um, why not? I mean... Ah, okay. Ah, uh, ako si Daddy Franky. I'm very sorry. Ah, uh, I don't know how to speak English. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. How about you? You know how to speak Tagalog? A little bit. Uh, same. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> si ma'am, taga saan naman si ma'am? Taga Pangasinan. Ay, taga Pangasinan ka? Saan sa Pangasinan? Sa Oh, small word. Ako po, ano? Taga Malasiki ako. Oh, sa babayan. Bakit? Anong nangyari? Bakit? Sorry, I put it here. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Anong nangyari? Bakit? Nanlili mo si sir? Sorry, sorry sa word, ha? Nangihingi ng kahit ano, pata pagkain lang. Ha, nangihingi ng pagkain? Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, ha? Wala ulam. Walang ulam? <laughs> ano gusto mo ulam, sir? I, I have no word. Fix me, sir. Can We have no food. Uh, can, can you, you take okay? Ayan, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for that. It's okay. Sabi niya ni sir, nagugutom siya, kaya pakainin muna natin. Okay? Let's eat first. Thank you. And then, take a uh, coffee. And then after that, uh, we talk. Okay. We talk everything. Okay. Okay. Ano pa kami nate? Sir James. Sir James. Yeah. Sir James. James. Uh, how old are you na? Fifty one. Ah, fifty one. Sir Ernest, you're handsome, ba? Oh, very pogi. Pogi. Nah, uh, I need a trim. Papa gupitan kita, sir. Walang pagupit eh. Ako magbabayad. Hindi <laughs> na sayang. Oh, sayang. sayang. Okay. Sa sayang. What sayang? The, the payment for the haircut. Oh yes, sayang. Yeah. Sayang. Expensive. Uh, ano ba English sa sayang? Waste. Waste. 
Oh, waste. Waste money. Hindi. Yeah. Oh, waste money. Yes. Pag waste, basura eh. Hindi. 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 na kayo mga kababayan. Ah, tulungan nyo ako kasi medyo mapapalaban ako dito. <laughs> eh, may, hindi pa na marunong magtagalog masyado si Kuya Kano. Ah, Kuya James. Ah, it's okay, I call you Kuya because I'm only 44 years old. But this one, ano, okay, ah, tatay, our driver. Lolo? Lolo. Lolo. <laughs> There's no hair. No hair. No, no hair. hair, yeah. Mga kababayan, magtatanggal akong jacket, pinapawisan ako kay <laughs> Kuya James. <laughs> Mahirapan ako sa English nito. Ay mga kababayan, mga kabarangay, huwag nyo sanang uh, mamasamayin yung uh, biroan namin dito, kulitan namin. Habang kami ay babiyahe, nadaanan namin si Sir James, nabasa namin sa kanyang placard, angry. Tinatanong ko naman kung sila'y naglilimus, hindi naman daw. So sorry sa word na aking sinabi, uh, sila lang daw po ay nagugutom. Nagaanap lang sila ng uh, mga pagbigay ng kaunting pagkain. So sakto mga kababayan, mga kabarangay, uh, ito po ang misyon ng uh, inyong lingkod. Ay uh, makapagbigay, makapag-abot ng kaunting tulong sa ating mga kababayan na nangailangan. Lalong-lalo na uh, this coming Christmas, kailangan, alam nyo naman po ang ibig sabihin ng Christmas ay magbigayan tayo. So, salamat sa Panginoon, salamat sa Diyos, at gabayan tayo nawa ng ating Panginoon na tuloy-tuloy lang po tayo sa ating mga gawain mabuti, lalong-lalong sa ating kapwa. Tuloy-tuloy tayo, mga kababayan. Na... Makdo, sir, it's okay? Makdo? Uh, yeah, that, that's okay. That's okay? Uh, I don't get to eat McDonald's very often. Ano daw? Hindi siya nakakain sa McDonald's. Hindi pa siya. Ah, hindi na siya nakakain sa McDonald's. I like it but I never get to eat there. Ah, okay. So now, eat all you want. Eat all you can. Oh. Tawa si sir. Okay, yes sir. Yes, true. Sir, you have a children? In US. Ah, US. You live where in US? Arizona. Arizona? Yeah. Maraming pera doon, di ba? There's a lot of money in uh, ano, your... No, no, not really. Arizona is one of the lower pay... A lower pay? Pay states because very near Mexico. Ah, very near in Mexico. Yes. Yeah, so. It's my dream to go to, ano... Mm, you know, U.S. ain't what it used to be. Ano daw? Dito, dati. Dito, dati. U.S. Huh? U.S. Ah, not not same yeah. like before. No, with um, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, money's okay. I mean, there you could. Now it's getting harder to find work, um, lesser pay. Just it's not what it used to be. No. The the homeless rate is incredible across the U.S. The unemployment rate is incredible out across the U.S. People are out of work living on the street, living in tents. I have a friend in U.S., Tita Hanes. Mm -hmm. Anna Carmody. Di ba? Oh, Tita Hanes, shout out sa'yo. Uh, Ma'am Anna Carmody. At saka si Ma'am Lani and Wonder Woman. Yan. Mga friend namin na mga OFW, nandyan sila sa U.S. Marami. O, pa-parking tayo dito, mga kababayan. Pero mga kababayan, no, uh, Usually naman, pag nandito tayo sa kainan, uh, baka hindi kami makakapag uh, imumute namin to, baka kainin lang namin sila, tapos tuloy natin yung usapan pagkatapos namin kumain. No? Pero sana, wala silang music or walang sounds para tuloy-tuloy na yung kwentuhan, usapan namin, ng malaman namin at uh, makapag-usap kung ano pwedeng itulong <coughs> ng Team Daddy Frankie, mga kababayan. Pero so far, Uh, kailangan mapakain muna natin si Sir, especially kasi yung unang tanong, unang lapit niya sa atin kanina is hungry daw siya. Hungry, hungry. Parehas lang. Bahala na. <laughs> May anak kayo? Wala. Wala. So far, so good. No, no money. Walang pera. If you have no money, don't make baby. Um, <laughs> ah! Because if you have no money, then your child will have no money. Aww. 
you have to be responsible sometimes. So uh, thank, thank God we haven't had a baby because what would we do? But in a Filipino who have no money, more, more baby. Because they have nothing else to do. Instead of drinking, they make baby. Ah. Or they get drunk, then they make the baby. How about you, sir? If you are drunk, no, no I, make baby? I, do, I don't drink. Ah, you don't drink? No. Smoke? I do, I do smoke. That's a bad habit I've had since I was 14 years old. So. A few moments later. Ano yung pangalan ni Nanay? Laila. Po? Laila. Laila? Uh, Nanay Laila. Nasambit mo sa akin kanina, taga Pangasinan ka, di ba? Ayan, small word kasi ako taga Pangasinan din. Ayan. So mga kababayan ma, uh, mga kabarangay, sila po yung uh, nadaanan natin doon. So sabi ni sir, problema niya, angry daw siya. So napakain na natin siya. So sa ngayon na uh, interviewin natin, alamin natin kung ano ang nangyari. Kasi hingit sa kaalaman natin mga Pinoy, no? pag nakakita tayo ng uh, kano, American, mapera. Pero nagulat nga po ang inyong lingkod mga kababayan bakit nakita namin sila naghihirap, nangingi ng pagkain. So, Nay, kung hindi mo mamasamayin, okay lang ba na ikwento nyo sa amin, ikwento nyo ni Sir? Ah, uh, ano nangyari from the start at uh, okay lang din po ba na itong video natin na to i-upload namin sa YouTube? Okay lang. Salamat nang marami, no? Okay. Paano nga ba nangyari? Kailan ano nangyari? Paano nga nagsimula? When you start. Sir, coming here. I have uh, some questions. Yes. Uh, mahirap eh. I don't know how to speak English, but sorry ah. Try to understand me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why you? When you? I know. How long you stay in the Philippines? Um, it's approximately ten years now. Ten years. Yeah, almost. Why you go in the Philippines? A woman I was online date, dating with. I had met on a on a dating app. Yeah. Um, uh, in contact with her for eight to ten months. Okay. And I decided I was going to come and meet her. You know, I would I would send a little help to her now and then when I had a little extra. Um, and then once I got my passport, I I came. I arrived on on the just before New Year, right after Christmas, um, and met the woman that I'd been dating online. I was with her for a couple months. Found out she had a husband. What is your uh, work before? Um, I owned Viper Plumbing in Mesa, Arizona. In ten years, sir, where in your uh, where do you stay in the Philippines? I've been in a few places in the Philippines. Where? Um, when I first got here. I, the woman I met, we went to uh, was, uh, New Visea. Ah, New Visea. Yeah, so I was there for a couple months. Okay. And that's when I found out she had a husband. I had issues with my business in U.S. Um, with the guy who's supposed to be managing it. Um, a part of, kind of a partner in the business. And my... My ATM cards, everything just stopped working. 
but so that made it really tough on me. That left me kind of kind of stuck here because you know, I had no more financial, nothing else coming in. Um, but well, let me kind of back up a little bit before that it even happened. The woman, when I found out she had a husband, was when her son ended up being in the in the hospital and she had to show her ID. And the ID did not match her real name, but the name that she had given me. Uh -huh. um, her surname was not what the rest of her family was. Her, sur her surname was a, her married name, same as her son's name. So, because I knew she had kids, but she said she had kids but was never married. That was, that was not true. Um, and because I found out that she was married, I think the family just didn't want me in that town anymore. So the next day, we were in Manila. And she left me stranded at a park. She just disappeared. Oh? Yeah. Loneta. Loneta? Loneta. Loneta Park. Um, she said she had to go to the bathroom. She said, I'll be back. I'll see her. Gone. She's gone. Gone. So I was just like stuck there. Um, I got a, I got her, I rented a room, and then the next day I went back out and I went back over to the park. I don't know where she at, where she at. Um, I had, then I had some people try to steal my luggage. You know, it destroyed my my suitcase, ripped the wheels off of it. They're trying to steal my bag, and it had my backpack in the suitcase also which would have my passport, everything in there. And they were trying to steal from me, steal from me. And the security guards around, nobody one day had to do anything, I couldn't believe it. But a barangay, someone from a barangay found out, took us into the barangay, and they're claiming that that's their backpack, or not the backpack, their suitcase, and I'm trying to steal it from them. And there was a man and a woman. They're like, no, that's ours trying to take it. And they were listening to him. I couldn't believe what was happening. I'm like, no, that is mine. And they're like, sorry, sir, they're claiming it to be them. I said, fine, open it up. My passport is in there. That's when it, you know, my my wallet's in my back pocket, so my passport. I kept it in my backpack, which was in there. And when they opened it up, and there, sure enough, there's my, my passport. They were trying to make a case that I was stealing their stuff. She remembers. Well, she remembers that suitcase. It was all destroyed. Um, so that, I've had a rough. That was like. So I went. I got screwed over by a woman. She had a husband, and then it wasn't good. Sir, excuse me. Huh? Anong name ng babae? Name. Oh, uh, good. The girl. Uh, she said her name was Cheryl. 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 But she lived in uh, uh, Ubaycia. Well, she. That's where her family is. Uh, her family. Yeah. You've been there house in the uh, house yeah, of her family. I've been there for a couple months. Well, a couple months, yes. Well, I bought a motor. I bought a single motor. Uh -huh. So we actually traveled around a lot. Uh -huh. Man. Um, during that two months. We were actually gone in, I can't remember, I think, I don't remember if we were gone in, I think, Baler, Baler. Baler. Aurora yeah. Baler. It was along the sea, oh, on yeah. the ocean, we stayed in a resort there. And then when we, we arrived back at, at, at the house is when her family said her son was in the hospital. So, sa makatwit, naloko siya. Pero, tanong ko, ah, nai, ano, Kayo naman, gaano nakatagal kayo? Kay, ikaw naman tatanungin ko, Nay, para maging klaro. Paano mo siya nakilala at kailan kayo nag-start? Her name was... Well, anyway. Sure. Okay, she, her, she said her name was Sherelle Soro Matic. Uh, but the Matic part was her actual married name was Kemper. That's when I seen her ID on the counter at the hospital. The one that she said she had lost, but she didn't. It was there, and her married name is Tamperon, so which matched the kid's last name. 
Ginamit ko siya after a year. Nandito siya. What? Okay. He's asking me, what, what year I met you? Oh. Oh, well, I haven't got to that part. Okay. Saan kayo, saan mo siya nakita na eh? I was, I was here a year before I met her. Sa Kartimar Rolls. A Kartimar? I met her on Kart, in Kartimar, it was called Mabolo Extension. Mabolo Extension. Yeah, which is no longer there, now it's a parking garage. Oh. And a market. Um, Punta ko sa sister ko, doon ko siya namin. Namin. kapalagay ng kanulo, tapos dugo niya kung tatlong buwan, nag-adin kami na. Pero ah, niligawan kaya ang 3 months? Paano kanya niligawan? Nung nakilala mo siya, may trabaho pa siya noon? Wala. Wala na siyang trabaho noon? Saan siya nakatira noon? Sa Ebi Ganyang Mayroon. Kung sa kanya. Ayun, tumutulong sa kanya. Hanggang sa nagkapalagayan na kayo. Tapos nakaalap sa tarbaho yung Takatak Boy. Ah, Takatak Boys? Ano, you know how to, ano, Takatak Boys? Oh, I was a Takatak Boy when I was old. Ah, <laughs> me when I was young. <laughs> how, how would you, uh, paano niya pinibenta yung kanyang well, sina? Well, uh, okay, I started doing that, I was doing this collecting Kalako. Ah, Kalako I was also. a Kalako Boy. I would roam all around during the day. Getting sports, spoons, oh. cups, bottles, anything. Cleaning, cleaning up the dirty. People would be like, Oh, yeah, yeah. believe yeah. American picking yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, that's why. You know? Oh, I'm bespoking now, mga kababayan. Where my friend birds, I met some people and they let me stay in their garage. Oh. Um, it was right next to a junk shop. Anyway, that's what I was doing. I met I met Lila, and she gave me capital. We bought a pack of Marlboro, a pack of red lights, um, and Fortune, oh. and was my and my tea. My tea. I, I just started with them four packs, and I sold. And and back then it was like twenty seven pesos for a pack of of my of. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, and 47 for a pack of Marlboro. And you sell the Marlboro for five pesos, five pesos. So one pack turned into two packs. And before you know it, I had a whole bunch. And that, yeah, I did that for a while. Until her sister gave us her card to sell show my. Show my rice. And so then I sold my cigarettes and show my rice. Show my rice. Right, at, right there in front of Cartoon Mars. I came here for a woman who wasn't true to me. She loved my money. Uh -huh. And when I had zero money at all, and I had nowhere to live, I met this one. That's when I knew that this was, this was love. This was, yeah, it yeah. was real. Uh, she didn't care about my money, because I didn't have any. Ma'am Laila, yeah, I love you, even Laila, no money. Laila, I didn't save a Filipina. A Filipina saved me. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, right. She, That's why uh, sometimes, ano, not all same, right? Yeah. Uh, pasensya na kayo mga kapwayan, nahihirapan ako. Pero sabi niya, di ba, nagkaloko-loko siya because of Pilipina. Pero nag-save din sa kanya is Pilipina. So yun masasabi ko na hindi lahat. Di ba? Ma'am, may tanong ako sa'yo ma'am. Bakit mo siya minahal? Anong, naibi, anong nagustuhan mo sa kanya? Mabait siya. Mabait siya. Kahit wala siyang pera. Kasi lingit sa kalaman, di ba? Pag kano, maraming pera. Di ba? Pero ba't ikaw, wala siyang pera, minahal mo siya? Nakawaran niya ko, pero na-develop. Na-develop. Wala kang anak mo? Wala. So, talagang dala. Dalaga po oh. ikaw na mapunta. Ilang, anong edad ka nung napunta sa kanya? 41. 41. Yeah, we were 41. Ah, uh, 41. Now, now we're 51. Oh yeah, so so that's why 10 years. How much? Well, our, an our anniversary is on the 14th February. Ah, uh, February 14th. Ah, araw na mga puso. So that's uh, that'll be our 10 years. Oh. Sir, kano mo siya kamahal? Translate. How much do you love me? Um. Enough. Uh, 
try to help as much as I can. Enough to swallow my pride and hold a sign that says I'm hungry. Enough to, I, I will beg to, to help so that she'll, you know, to help anywhere I can. I love her enough, I won't, I don't, I won't leave her. Uh, you know? Anything happened? Yeah, I, I did. We've already, we've already tried to go back home and the embassy won't help. Um, they said we're not financially obligated. They, I filled out all the paperwork. The contacts in the U.S. My family, they're not going to help. I chose my destiny to come to the Philippines. So, even if they would send me home, I wouldn't go because I can't take my wife with me. You know? And I'm 51, she's 51. I don't want to go back to the U.S. to die alone, and I don't want to leave here. Her here to die alone. Uh, Ayaw ka na niya iwanan. Yeah, I don't, we don't want to lose each other. So. Thank you so much, sir. Why are you crying now? Oh, she's sensitive. Sensitive? <laughs> no, it scares her if something was to happen. Touching kasi siya eh. Alam niya na sincere ka kasi, you're sincere kasi, that's why she's crying. Oh, she knows. She knows. Ah, she knows. Ikaw naman na gaano mo siya kamahal? Mahal na mahal. Mahal na mahal. Sa bagay kita ko na hindi ka iiyak kung hindi mo siya mahal na mahal. Mahal na kita. Oh. Mahal na mahal kita. Marunong na magtagalog mo siya. So, sir, uh, to make a, a short story, no? Uh, kasi we are a charity vlogger and we gonna help you even a little. Uh, yes. Nay, tanong ko lang. Ah, saan kayo natutulog ngayon? Kali. Ah, natutulog kayo sa kalye. Palipat-lipat, ano? Maglalata kami yung katto. Diga, pag ano, magaling na, wala nang bukas na siya. Halilipat na kayo. Pakahirap naman. Yan talaga buhay. Mga kababayan, Naka, uh, si Sir, kung kausap mo siya, hindi mo makikita na uh, unlike sa Pilipino na parang ulubi, homeless, no. Pero pag titignan mo talaga, mga kababayan, tignan niyo po yung damit ni Sir. Tahi, tahi. Tinahi ko yan. Ay, tinahi mo. Butas, butas. <laughs> sorry, Sir. I'm sorry. Yan, yan mga kababayan. No? Tapos yung damit ni Sir na banggit niya sa akin, only three. Yeah, I got three shirts. A three shirt. Shorts. Uh, three. Uh, two. two. Brief. Shirts. You have a brief. One. <laughs> si Nanay, tumatawa mi iya. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Okay. Hey, he makes me laugh. Wala. <laughs> Pasensya na kayo. <laughs> brief. What are briefs? <laughs> What color, sir? What color? White. White, okay. Well, they're gray, they're gray now. Oh, gray na ngayon. <laughs> White before. Sometimes they're brown. Oh, sometimes brown. We gotta talk to them. Okay, no, yan. No. yan mga kababayan, gaya po ng aking sinabi. Kung titignan mo siya, hindi mo pa pagkakama lang uh, We've uh, homeless or pulubi. Sorry sa word na ganun mga kababayan. Kasi masayain siyang tao. Pero na-curious ako, nagulat ako kasi nung lumapit sa sasakyan, dala-dala nga yung sign, signboard niya na hungry. Kaya yung tinala natin sila dito. No? Tapos uh, tatanungin natin kung anong pwedeng maitulong ng Daddy Frankie. No? So, Nay, uh, tanong pa, ano ang pwedeng itulong namin ngayon sa inyo para maging masaya kayo? Lalong-lalo na kasi mga kababayan, Christmas ay natutulog sila sa kalye daw. Anong huh? pwede namin gawin para maging masaya kayo? Just to be together. Just to be together. Ano daw? Basta magkasama rin kami. Oh, oh yes. Ah, basta magkasama. Pero yung anong pwedeng itulong namin sa inyo para maging masaya kayo even this Christmas 
this Christmas is rough because she's not with her family. Um, you know, right? Every and because we've been living in Lingayen in Pangatina, so she's always with her family in the holidays. Uh, and this year, there's no impossible. There's no money. We have no money for that. So. You want just me and her this year together for the holidays. You want money? <laughs> you need money, right? Uh, food. This coming New Year, we gonna go in uh, Pangasinan or in Malasiki. Uh, celebrate kami ng New Year sa Pangasinan, but this coming uh, Christmas here in Makati. Pero siempre na sa iyan na eh. uh, siempre may mga gusto pa yung gawin. Kaka sana, alam ko naman na hindi ito yung last na pag-uusap natin kasi nga gusto ko ring makatulong pero gaya ng sinabi ni Sir, uh, kasi ang iniisip kong tulong mga kababayan is para makabalik din sana sa kanyang country, sa kanyang lugar. Pero nabanggit na niya kanina, ayaw niyang bumalik kung hindi niya makakasama si Nanay dahil sa nangyari daw sa kanya. Hindi ko naman totally naiintindihan na, gaya ng sinasabi ko, ikaplaong maging ninyo mga kababayan, hindi ako nakakapag-inglis masyado, pero nakaintindi ako. Umagsak daw siya because of Pilipina. Pero na-save naman siya ng Pilipina. Kaya ngayon, ayaw niyang bumalik na hindi kasama. So that is very impossible daw, kasi wala yung mga papeles niya, pati ikaw. So, mas gugustuin daw nila talaga na magkasama na lang dito. Dahil kung uh, pabalik ko, talaga malaking gastos, no? So, ang may tutulong lang namin ngayon, no? Uh, magbigay siguro ng kaunting uh, tulong financial. Pero, opo, pero hindi ito ang huling pagkikita natin. Hopefully, sana, para makapag-abot pa kami ng kahit kaunting tulong, no? So, na, uh, magbibigay ako ng kaunting tulong. Pero sana hindi ito yung huling pagtatagpun natin. Kung sakasakali na saan ko kayo pwedeng mahanap kulit? Saan ba kayo naglalagi? Ah, doon saan, kung saan ko kayo nakita kanina. Oh, sige. Pagka ano, pupuntahan ko ulit kayo doon. Sige na. Ngay, sana dahil Christmas, para may pang kayo. 5,000. Thank you. Oh. Really? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Sana maging masaya kayo this coming Christmas. Ambili ang hamon. Thank you. Hulog kayo ang toks. Hulog na lang ito. Masalamat tayo sa Panginoon. No? Lahat ng yan ay bigay ng ating mahal na Panginoon. Kasangkapan lang kami ng Panginoon. Basta ano't ano man ang mangyari, laban lang tayo. Po. Lalong-lalo na mga kababayan. Nagapanggasinan pa si Nanoy. Small work talaga. Hindi ko akalain. Pero saludo ako sa pagmamahalan ninyo. I really salute you sir. Because you really love my kababayan. Iyak na naman si nanay mga kababayan. Nike mo nga si sir. Sige, no? Ingat kayo, ha? Sana magkit... Yan, pagka ano, hanapin ko kayo ulit para mapag-abot. Kasi kung gusto nyo, halimbawa, gusto mong pumasyal ng family mo, pwede kayong sumabay sa akin. This coming, uh, sa 31, 
uuwi kami ng Pangasinan lahat. Oo. Baka makauwi kami. Ah, uuwi rin kayo. Ah, kasi may pera na. Oo, oh, save nyo yung money nyo. Ingat, no? Hmm? Oh, ah, pamasahe. Okay. Sa enjoy. Mm -mm. No, God bless po. Thank you so much, Sir Sir James and Nanay Laila. Ingat po. Thank you, Dalit. Oh, I thank God that put, yeah. put us both in the same place. Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, so we uh, met, you know. Sir, uh, you have some uh, message to your family in the U.S.? Maybe, I well, don't know. My after me and my wife in U.S. got divorced, my three daughters pretty much figure I abandoned them. Abandoned. I, I just left them. Um, I still have communication with my son, though. Um, anyway, to Janelle, Lisa, and Stephanie, I do still love you all. And to my son, Daniel, I love you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you. Parang napakahirap, napakasakit sa damdamin na may anak ka, may pamilya ka. Kaya nang sinabi parang inabandon siya. Napakasakit isipin nung lalo na Christmas. No? Napakahirap talaga. Do, hindi natin alam kung ano pa talaga ang uh, mga reason simula. No? Kaya hindi tayo pwedeng mag-judge or what. Basta ang gusto lang gawin ni Daddy Frankie sa araw na ito, sa panahon na ito, makapag-abot man lang ng kaunting tulong sa ating mga kababayan na nahihirapan lalong-lalo na sa Christmas na ito. So sana uh, sa araw na ito mga kababayan na mapagpasaya na naman tayo kagaya ni nanay at saka si tatay. So God bless po sa ating lahat mga kababayan at uh, bago po uh, matapos ang video ito shout out ko muna ang Team Rise Abab Tita Hany S. Ayan. Lahat ng kasamahan Lindin Garido shout out po sa inyo uh, Ma'am Lisa Liabres Mama MC at saka si Ma'am Maria Paz Ugoshi. Mabuhay po tayong lahat and God bless. Magmahalan po tayo. And Merry Christmas po sa ating lahat. Mabuhay po tayo.